what is there to not love about City of Peace? My gosh. I love the people and I love the environment. Coming here is like where I can be myself. It's a creative way of bringing honesty. I feel as though I'm heard more and um, I'm understood more and um, it's more safer. It's like, it's, um, I want to say like a second home, but not a, yeah, kind of like a second home, I'm not even going to lie. I mean, I've made so many multicultural friendships and I didn't, don't really have that at my school. We're close enough to be called family and stuff like that. I guess, I guess my favorite thing is that just like we are using the performing arts to actually understand, understand each other and then understand like the different oppressions and the, and the social structure of the country and like of, of our lives. All right, good morning. It's a beautiful day. And so I am gonna take my dog out. Maxine, Maxine. Hi, Maxine. That's my All right, that was a good walk. Let's see, it is right now. What time is it? I can't see my watch. It's 8.09. Okay, so I gotta leave. I gotta leave for City of Peace at around nine o'clock or else I'm not gonna make it. So T minus 50 minutes. We're on the road to City at Peace. It's my mom, hi mom. Hello. So mom, do you like that I'm in City at Peace? Oh yeah, very much. Really? What do you like about it? When I look at the faces, everyone looks so happy, you know? And be a teenager is very hard. And I think that's a, a place like that is a good outlet for, for all the kids. And I know we close and we talk a lot, but I know there's stuff that you would not want to talk to me about. And to have friends that close, it's like every week you tell about your life story and then I'm sure it, for you it's therapeutic. All right, the home stretch. Here is the fabulous City of Peace building, the Manhattan. And it's up the steps I go. All right, almost there. I'm about to enter the realm of City at Peace. Something's happening. Sandy is great, is great. She's a very artistic and creative and she's a and she's very strong. And like the work is difficult. A lot of times people think that creating peace is about, you know, holding hands and saying like let's just get along. It seems like they just don't think about the conflicts. Like to get to peace, we have to like really look at the conflict and really jump in there and work really hard to work through the conflict, not just bury it or act like it's not there and so take into account that you know we're teenagers and like there's this whole view that we're just you know we're going through like teenage angst and like we're just like ah whatever <laughs> but like realizing that no we may I may not be over the age of 18 or 19 but I still have real problems I'm a type of person that like doesn't really like to have a lot of friends because I have trust issues and stuff like I don't really trust people apparently it's like I'm getting a lot of bad news getting like thrown on my shoulders and like everything is like weighing down on me and so yeah. I think I was like 12 or 13 or something but but I knew like oh my gosh we're getting divorced and it just like kind of shattered me because I knew it was going to happen but didn't want it to happen. I can't talk to my parents because My dad doesn't care about my feelings and my mom is off somewhere else. So I don't know what I can do outside of City of Peace to talk to people. I never talked about it with anybody. I didn't want to talk about it because I was just so ashamed that, that I was just going to be another kid with divorced parents. But I could talk about it with people City of Peace because like, they wouldn't judge. They could understand. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, I remember like my dad moved out the opening night of my first City at Peace show. 
but like the, the stuff that I see is kind of scary. Brandon's a runner. He can run. He knows when you have those kinds of questions. And, uh, and he can run. He can peace out on you, you know. And, but he's very contemplative. I do a lot of poetry about myself. Now, I know that might sound vain, but like I'm going to explain it. Like the internal stuff that I deal with, self-esteem issues and stuff like that. I've like went toward the whole political poetry thing, but like it's that's just not my thing. Like I'm, I I have to be like completely comfortable with myself. Ah! I've been trying so hard to maintain my sanity, maintain my inner peace, even my faith. So I scream on paper. As I inhale the smoke of life's bad vapors, it's like I'm trying to keep my shit together with a staple. Don't call me crazy, I'm just a little fucked up, so I scream on paper. This frustration and pain is wrecking my brain. I can care less if you stare at me. You see, it's not really a big deal to me. I'm not tripping off whether or not you feeling me, but it's crazy because simultaneously I'm sad, mad, a bit depressed, hurt, and confused. So I turn to screaming on paper because I'm out of options, and that's the last thing that I can do. So until I can't anymore or find something safer, I will keep screaming. I will keep screaming. I will keep screaming on paper. Yeah. Any thought is possible. So like if somebody is able to like transform that thought into a piece of art, it's like it's 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 possible for like that thing to happen. When I first got into theater, I just thought theater was cool because it's performance, it's uh, fun. I like to catch the musical, whatever. I'm not ashamed. Okay, ready? Okay, shame. Then when City of Peace, it's I learned like, whoa, you can actually like make a difference and change and get messages out with theater. It's always been the same. They give us the language. I never heard the word oppression until I got here. I've experienced racism. I don't really understand they give you like a way to approach confronting someone that wouldn't necessarily come off as very aggressive and very hostile. We're not theoretical at all. I mean, our entire show is based on life stories. We talk about ourselves, all the stories we play are things that have happened to people in the cast. Right. Yes. Do you want me to talk to your teacher? No. Okay. Why don't you tell me what's really going on? To have personal accounts, that's a big thing. It's the personal account. Like, you know you can read it in a textbook or you can read that, like, some women didn't like that, that. But for me to look you in the eyes as you tell me that this happened to you, that's, that's so, like, big. I'm gay. The end. Before City of Peace, I was like, oh, I, I, I never want to do anything that could be remotely girly. Like, guys are, like, typically, like, taught to, like, be all, like, hard and, like, gangster and stuff like that. No pink was ever allowed near me. Nothing fluffy or cute. I never even said the word cute. I can be like with a group of guys and like, like he says like something derogatory about a, um, a woman. Like I can be like, yo, I mean, that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, shut up. You're like a little punk. But then I was at City Peace like, whoa, I'm, it's like, whoa, I'm internally oppressed. I am contributing. I am contributing to sexism because like I am a girl, but I think it's bad to be a girl. I finally feel like I'm able to like like step out of the box basically and just like like do me. For me, like every rehearsal is a family reunion because I'm just like, hi, oh my gosh, I love you so much. You're so cool. Let's get to work. We can do this, and it's, and it's just, it's just a ball every time. DC. You know, I don't have to do it alone. That I'm in a group with people, and I can talk in a circle, and um. It's like no matter what I say, I'm being heard, and it may impact somebody else's life, or what they say may impact me. Or the 
people that I hang around, it's just like a city at peace. It's, just, it's a lot of positive people. The people that I was hanging around before, they were just like smoking, like stealing cars, beating people and stuff like that. If I was to introduce a city at peace, I'd probably be doing that stuff. I don't even think I would be pursuing a house. We'll get there. We have sons and daughters of congressmen and senators and teachers and bus drivers and store owners and we're like imagine all of those people like people in other areas and these are the people who are going to take over the world like really and we intend to change it I don't even like think that I can like be the same person that I was yesterday, like ever. We gotta get together. Oh, 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 oh,